Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to solve this given exponential equation 8 raised to the power x plus 4 plus 4 raised to the power x plus 2 raised to the power x plus 2. Before I move on, could you please subscribe this channel and like this video. Now let us solve this problem. This 8 can be written as 2 raised to the power 3 and this 4 can be written as 2 raised to the power 2. So this equation can be further written as 2 raised to the power 3 raised to the power x plus 4 is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 raised to the power x plus this term I can just break this term this can be written as 2 raised to the power x times 2 raised to the power 2 because there is a law of the exponent if x raised to the power a plus b this can be written as x raised to the power a times x raised to the power b you can break the exponent the same rule i have applied here in the next step i am going to swap the exponent so this equation can be written as 2 raised to the power x raised to the power 3 plus 4 is equal to 2 raised to the power x raised to the power 2 plus I am just swapping the terms 2 raised to the power 2 times 2 raised to the power x. I am just swapping the terms writing this term in the front and this term in the back. In this case, there is a law of the exponent because if x raised to the power a raised to the power b, this can be written as x raised to the power b raised to the power a. I have applied the same rule here. I am just swapping the terms. This 3 can be written outside and then x can be written inside the same case in this term. Now I am going to put put 2 raised to the power x is equal to y. So this equation can be further written as replace 2 raised to the power x equal to y. So this is equal to y raised to the power 3 plus 4 is equal to y raised to the power 2 plus this 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 2 raised to the power x is equal to y so in the next step i am going to shift all the terms on this side so this is equal to y raised to the power 3 minus y raised to the power 2 minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 0 there. In the next step, I am taking the y common in the first two term, taking the y common and inside y square common and inside is y minus 1 and in the next step, I am taking minus 4 common inside is y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, in, in the <coughs> next step, I am going to combine these two terms, y square minus 4. I am going to write one term from these two common terms, y minus 1 is equal to 0. There are two cases y square minus 4 is equal to 0 or y minus 1 is equal to 0. When this y square minus 4 is equal to 0, this is equal to y square is equal to 4, y is equal to plus minus 2 or y is equal to 2 and minus 2. So we are going to leave this case because y is a positive term. Because 
y is greater than 0 which is equal to 2 raised to the power x which is positive term so I am going to leave this case so only we will consider y is equal to 2 and in this case next case y is equal to 1 so we go we have got two values y is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 we have got two values of y our y is equal to 2 raised to the power x so replace the value of y so 2 raised to the power x is equal to 1 so this one can be written as 2 raised to the power x is equal to 2 raised to the power 0 basis are same I am going to equate the powers therefore x is equal to 0 because there is a low of the exponent if x raised to the power a is equal to x raised to the power b this is further equal to a is equal to b the same rule i have applied here if bases are same the powers are you can equate the powers so x is equal to 0 in in this case y is equal to 2 so y 2 raised to the power x is equal to 2 so this is equal to 2 raised to the power x equal to 2 raised to the power 1 so bases are same you can equate the power with the same rule of the exponent so in this case x is equal to 1 so we got two values of x x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 so this is my final answer with two values of x x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 this is my final answer i hope you like this video please subscribe this channel and like my videos thank you very much for watching this